Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> Casual Tommy again on my way to work. Do a uh, quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Oris Divers Date with that beautiful bronzed dial. The story about these, this watch is um, it's pretty well known actually. There was a, a defect in production. Um, I'm not sure what the defect was. It doesn't affect any functionality, just the aesthetics, but there was a defect that resulted in um, a batch of these watches, a batch of the blue dialed watches, uh, bronzing of, of the dials. The dials were bronzing uh, very quickly. Not, you know, not 20, 20, 30 years, uh, five years, 10 years, things like that. Um, I mean, so I mean, as you can see, this, this dial is actually a blue dial, but it's bronzed to become this beautiful, beautiful beer colour. It, it, I wouldn't even say root beer, I'd say beer. This is, um, and because it's not, uh, because the dial's not intended to be coloured like that, um, it's got a, it, it, it has a sunburst from the middle down, from a, a blue centre to, oh mate, I love it. Anyway, my Oris Divers Date. So what do I want to talk about today? I want to bring online watch discussions into the real world. Continuing on with my series. This is a series where I have a look through various uh, places where people are discussing things online. So forums, Facebook groups, that's pretty much what I'm looking through. Um, sometimes it'll be articles. And I start the conversation in real life. So, yes, I was trolling through the Australian Watch Forum, which is the biggest online uh, forum. It's a Facebook group. It's the biggest online watch forum for, uh, in Australia. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's the urban gentry for Australians. Um, and one of the posts I saw was someone asking, how often do you rotate your watches? How often do you wear a different watch? And there were a lot of people commenting, uh, every day. Every day, new watch. Every day, new watch. Now, I can relate to these people. It's actually what I did for... I mean, I was, I was a one or two watch guy for a while. Um, I'd probably say I spent about four or five years wearing a different watch every day. I took pride in it. That was my thing. Um, I would I would wear a different watch every day of the week. Every morning I'd wake up, I would skip over the watch I wore the day before and I'd wear something else. Now, I mean, I had maybe, maybe a 12 watch collection at that point, so everything was in rotation. I didn't have something away for a few months and not wear it. I, that did happen with a few vintage dress pieces. But uh, at that time, I would wear a different watch every day. Now the pros of that are, you know, you get to wear a different watch every day. <laughs> um, it, it, it keeps it fresh, it keeps it interesting. You're, you're always looking down at your wrist because your wrist is different from the day previous. Um, and it was quite good, it really was quite fulfilling. But then, I was, I was working all around Australia, so I was, uh, my job back then was, I was in a car, I would, I'd fly to a state, and I would have 60 uh, businesses where I had to do a rollout of something, um, of computers, or iPads, and I would drive my way through the state, and then come back to base in Brisbane, and then do it again, so I was away for uh, a week at a time sometimes three or four weeks at a time. It was pretty fantastic, not gonna lie. And I would typically take a few watches with me. I always had a four, I have a four watch travel case. And I would, I'd wear five watches. I'd take five watches with me, one on my wrist, four in the box, and I'd switch it out every day. And there was one trip that I did, which was a three week trip. And it was in Western Australia, it was, it was, it was really nice actually. Good, good job, nice, nice bit of travel, get to see the country. And I only 
had the watch on my wrist. Now, it was a black and gold uh, Seiko, quartz Seiko chronograph. Um, it was a beta of sorts. Now, it's amazing how watches change. When I bought it initially, it was a, it was a dress watch to me in, in, you know, 10 plus years ago when I first bought it. But anyway, the point was, I wore this watch for three weeks straight, every day, every night, every occasion. Um, and I mean everywhere. I, I never took that watch off my wrist, obviously, right? I've always got a watch on. Um, you, I usually take them off when I get home. Uh, but when you're sleeping in hostels and hotels, you spend very little time at home. And I remember taking that watch because it meant the least to me. Right at that stage, it was my it was my beta. It really was. It was the watch that I could see myself uh, damaging and not having too many qualms with it. It already had a crack in. It had a little chip in the crystal um, and a lot of swirls on the bracelet. And I only had that one watch with me that whole time. Now, it went from being a watch that meant very little to me, or I shouldn't say that, it went from being my least desirable watch to me, to being my favourite watch immediately, well, I guess after the three weeks. I connected with it, I built such a strong connection with that watch, wearing it every day. I visited some of the most beautiful parts in the country with that one watch. It, it became my travel buddy on that trip. And I came back and that, that taught me something. That taught me that I started looking at all the other watches in my box and I realized I don't even know these watches. I don't have any connection to these watches. These watches were, I mean, I'd wear them one day. I'd wear them for, for maybe 10 hours and then put it away for, you know, a week and a half until I came back to it and then would wear it again. I wasn't giving myself a chance to build a, a connection with these watches. I'd buy a watch, I'd wear it for a day, and then I'd put it away. And then 12 days later, I'd wear it again for a day, and then put it away. Uh, it was ridiculous. Not ridiculous. I can understand why people do it. Uh, I mean, I've, I did that for probably longer in my, uh, in my time of collecting watches compared to what I do now. But it was interesting. Uh, I commented this and said I, I had a hard time finding watches, uh, building connections with watches. Um, so now what I do is I wear one watch throughout the entire week. You probably noticed this if you if you watch a video and then watch the next video. If you watch a week's worth of videos, you'll see that my wristwatch check is the same watch every day until the next week. So that's what I do. So this mon Monday, yesterday, I wake up, I look at my box, I put on what feels right for the week. Um, so for example, there's a watch guy, uh, I'm about to, this week I've got a few workshop meetings um, with an external vendor and he, one of the guys is a, is a watch collector. He has a, he's a, he's a two watch collect, two watch collection guy. He's got a Sumo and he's got an SKX, but he is very into watches. He, he's, he's got a lot of knowledge. And I was telling him about this being a bronze style, uh, defect, uh, very rare kind of, um, sought after, no longer in production, Horus. And he really wanted to see it. So I've got a workshop with him on Thursday. So Monday I put the watch on and I'm going to wear this watch from Monday to Friday. I will not change watches. I, will, I change watches when I get home and I have to go do exercise, or if I play a game of golf throughout the week, I will change my watch for purpose. But as far as my everyday watch, it will be the same watch from week beginning to weekend. Then, on the weekend, I don't mean weekend uh, over the week, I mean to Friday, Monday to Friday. And then on the weekend, I'll do the same. I'll put on Whichever watch I feel is appropriate for that weekend, it's usually one of my weekend beaters, which is an SKX 009 or my Quartz Tissot PRC200. 
those are typically my weekend beaters and I'll wear them for my general weekend activities unless there's something specific if I'm going out to dinner somewhere or, or golf or whatever I'll, I'll wear in a I'll only change my watch throughout the week or the weekend uh, based on necessity if I've got something that I have a watch built for purpose for that so every night I go running I put on my my Fitbit every, every, every night when I go for a jog so yeah guys that's uh, that's how I do it and there were a lot of people commenting saying they change watch every day but funny enough my comment got the most likes so people that weren't commenting agreed with my statement and um, of my statement of wearing one watch throughout the week and then one watch on the weekend and I only change depending on necessity based off that so yeah guys I'm interested to know your thoughts and opinions what how do you rotate your watches do you have 50 watches and you take 10 out at a time wear those 10 for a few days or, or, or sorry a few weeks and then rotate those 10 um, I know a lot of uh, large larger scale collectors that do the same um, or do you wear a different watch every day do you wear a watch for a week at a time do you not even think about a structure and you just wear whatever you feel like on the day that's even that's probably <laughs> that's way more impressive I think in my opinion than anything so yeah please let me know your thoughts if you like the video please give it a like uh, if you want to see more subscribe and please uh, leave a comment down below see you guys